I'm Max Garcia, and one of the specialties of Tallahassee is the lined up fried chicken fast food places on Tennessee Street. And one of them that was just added recently is Raisin Cane's. So today we're trying Raisin Cane's, Gun 3's, and Chubby's. Even though Chubby's just got sold to FSU, and FSU is going to build apartment complexes there. I'm going to have my friend Kevin with me to try out these chicken tendies for the very first time. It's going to be both of our first times. And we'll see how it's going to go. Can I get the three finger combo? We'll it really doesn't look like a good location. Have you eaten like any fried like chicken and does he want like non vegetarian? Non yeah, 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 non vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, not fried chicken. I've had chipotle chicken. Did you know you could get like a cup of the sauce? Like a fountain drink like that? Yeah, a fountain drink cup of the sauce. Place number one, check. I mean, it smells really good, honestly. The OG right. chicken place across the street. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna probably like these more than Chick fil A. I mean, okay, I'm expecting that to be better than Chick fil A. But you said the last one was Chubby's, right? Yeah. I heard that Chubby's was actually getting closed down. Yeah, Chubby's is getting closed down. They sold their land to FSU. FSU yeah, yeah, so. I've always wanted to try it because it's like. I guess a, a staple of late night Tali right? eating. So I wanted to try before I heard it was closing, but I guess now that it's closing, it's now or never. Uh, can I get the box? Place number two, Gun 3's. Also $10 for chicken tenders, fries, and a bread. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that if that's what you want. Um, can I get the flavored uh, chicken box with... Uh, lemon pepper uh, chicken and then for the side I'm gonna get garlic parmesan. Yeah I should take a picture of Chubby, they finna close this bit down. Yeah I heard I saw that. Yeah. And they were all the same price within like cents of each other. Yeah. I think like a meal at Chick-fil-A is probably more than that. I'll try to the app. Every time at Chick-fil-A I get the chicken sandwich with lettuce and tomato and a large fry and that cost eight dollars all with the bread who started it first so raisin canes and guthries relies on their exclusive sauce and then chubby's coated it in lemon pepper sauce but we'll see if it's actually lemon pepper yeah it does not look actually it could be no i think, I think it is. and they're all crinkle cut fries and all in the same type of plastic container It doesn't even taste like that flavorful. Yeah. Very vinegar y. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like it, like the more that I eat. Like it's kind of like subtly and I feel like. I like it. It doesn't taste what I thought it was going to taste like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raisin King probably has the best bread. Mm -hmm. I like it. Honestly, <laughs> I'm thinking of it better than Chick fil A. That's think. hard to answer. And the fries itself, without any sauce, Chick fil A has better fries. And it has a sweetness to combat the savory chicken tender. Mm -hmm. but, but like you said, like, the sauce is like very like vinegar. It's a chipotle vinaigrette without the honey. This is the Guthrie sauce? Yeah. I mean, it's looking very similar to that one. The Guthrie sauce is probably a direct copy of cut. I mean, it looks the exact same. <laughs> it is almost like an identical copy. Let's see how it tastes with that. And they're across the street from each other. I feel like I kind of like this chicken a little more. Though. So what do you think after finishing? It doesn't really live up to the hype, but it's a decent option. I'm not running to go back to the place. I, mean, I do love In-N-Out. Like whenever I go to a state that has In-N-Out, I try and go to the In-N-Out. I'll go to this or McDonald's. I think it's kind of over I mean, that's how I feel about In-N-Out, but you think differently? Yeah. What do you think is like your favorite box so far though? Gun threes. I mean, I think- We haven't even tried Chubby's yet, but out of these two, because I didn't really see like a box on the Raising Cane's menu without the drink. Really? I mean, we were like panicking because we'd never mm -hmm. been there before and it's a fast food place, but I didn't see anything without a drink mm -hmm. with like the bread and the fries. Well, this one is different for all these reasons, but I mean, this is the only place that I eat uh, flavor on your tummy. Which is impressive for a fast food place. Yeah. I feel like with the Gunther's box, I'll be full after the meal. With the coleslaw bread and the four tenders. Mm-hmm. 
I would ask for more sauce. Yeah. I'll conclude my mukbang here. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? No. Because even though Raisin Cane's has a chicken sandwich, I do not think you could put lettuce and tomato on it. That's what makes the Chick-fil-A meal for me. And if I have to rank them, it's actually in terms of like value, which I would get again, Gun 3's, Chubby's, and then Raisin Cane's. So what was your favorite? Gun 3's. I also think this one was really good though. But I said 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3? Mm. I don't know if there's any benefit to uh, the Raisin Cane's. So I prefer these types of fries. Like if they're going to be this shape, have them be like thick like this. Mm -hmm. For sure. I prefer the coleslaw, something also extra sweet. Yeah, also comes with a bread as well. I mean, I feel like it's hard to pass them and I'm almost flavored, but I think I'm going to agree with you there. One, two, three. One, two, three. <coughs> yeah. Well, my stuff is a lot, right? I mean, it's like $10 <laughs> for 10 bonus wings. It's like a dollar per wing. When I get a 20 bonus, with a large fry, it's like eighteen dollars, sixty. I don't know. So slightly cheaper than a dollar per wing. Let's say I do get the like <clears throat> the ten dollars, like just ten boneless wings or like ten years. I'm still hungry. Yeah. <clears throat> but honestly, like I feel like at least for this one, I could eat that, and I'd probably be like this. Same thing with this one too. <clears throat> that one maybe. It does come with one last try, but wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, I would be satiated with these two. I don't know about Raisin Cane. But maybe we weren't wrong getting the drink included in the $10 and not these two. I think this one, right, was like the most, like, just the most amount of chicken in general, and it had the most. But I think that one is like very comparable. Like, if it's off, it's off by like a small margin. We both rank Raisin Cane's third. It is what it is.